and welcome to Fit Practice. Today we're going to talk a little bit about this guy and how we can use it to find a much kind of more balanced, natural, easy position while playing the flute. So let's go check it out. Okay, so I am here with Vanessa Mulvey and she is teaching at the New England Conservatory of Music mm -hmm. and she's a registered Andover educator and body mapping specialist and she's going to tell us a little bit about body mapping but before we do that I think we're going to talk a little bit about what are the most kind of common posture problems when playing the flute. The most common things I see are a head that's too far forward and usually what happens is the flute is coming up and the head reaches out to meet it. So, so like a tortoise, a real tortoise head. Yeah. <laughs> um, bad relationship to the ground. Mm -hmm. So standing on one foot or mm -hmm. more on the heels, not finding balance in feet. Or the, and the third thing is squeezing the flute keys too hard. Ah, yes. The good old, I must play my flute. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So what is body mapping? So body mapping is understanding intellectually how the body is designed to move. Because okay. everything we do is movement. From okay. our embouchure to our air to our fingers, it's all movement. And okay. the whole body's interconnected. So we look at the anatomy. And then we find that anatomy in ourselves, usually by touching, finding mm -hmm. a bone, moving a joint. And when we integrate better movement, then we take that movement learning, or that I call it refined movement, into our playing. So how can it make our playing easier? How can it make our fingers more fluid or more reliable, give us better access to air? Cool. So basically, we're talking about being a better flute player. We're talking about how to play better, which is kind of what we all want to do, right? Right. Let's talk about one of the simple problems, like maybe let's talk about the head, how we can try and okay. find a bit more ease there. So, go ahead and play something for me. Let's see what it's like. Okay, yeah, I'm going to start off with a good old scale. Let's go do major. How did that feel? Uh, I definitely felt like my head wasn't quite in the balanced position that I would like to be in. Mm -hmm. How did uh, the breathing, the movement of air... It definitely felt more constricted. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt like I, yeah, I felt like I wasn't getting quite enough air that I, you know, usually get, and I definitely felt my sound was a little bit mm -hmm. <laughs> small and constricted. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's do something different. Let's find a way to bring our flute to that balanced head. Cool. Okay. So the head, we want to allow it to be in balance, and when it's in balance, it's centered over the middle of the body, and that middle of the body is the front to back middle the left to right middle, so bisect, sorry, those two lines. Um, so one way I like to teach that is that that middle of the body is between your ears and I'll slide the finger up to the top of the head, so pointing down through the middle. Okay. So to do it, you can take, you can do, I guess I usually do thumbs, is you can put thumbs going into your ear holes and then slide your thumbs straight up to the top of your head. And when they meet in the middle, you can point down through that place. Let's do that again, because you're a little bit obscure. Okay, so slide it up. I imagine this would be great to do in front of a mirror if you don't have somebody that can... Absolutely. Or put your video camera on your music stand and mm -hmm. do a video of yourself. So keep that finger pointing down. You can drop this arm. Mm -hmm. So right now you're pointing through the middle of your body from front to back and left to right. Your head is balanced over that middle. Mm -hmm. So what does that mean? You've got bones and soft tissue below that is supporting that head. So for flute playing, we obviously have to do something with our head because of the asymmetry of our instrument. So we can practice one of the moves that we use. So I'm going to make sure I'm in the middle. <laughs> and the first move that I, or the move I want to practice is the rotation of the head. So sometimes you'll see people do this, mm -hmm. like a turtle, but we can do it in balance. So it looks like this. It's nice and easy. I always tell my students, you look like the dolls at Disney World on the <laughs> um, Main Street. Um, it's just so easy and free. Mm. And notice how your breathing is. Notice how your feet are touching the ground, but your mm -hmm. arms drop. And notice what it's like to have your head in that place. So for flute, we rotate our head just a little bit to the left, and you can use the finger as your axis if that's helpful. And some people, that is so important. We go to the left, and we can drop our arms. And then we can practice delivering the air flute up to us. So what's it like to move your arms and deliver the lip plate right to your lips? 
that different. Mm. It's a, you know, a, 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 just a new kind of a feeling of rather than thinking towards the flute, you know, I play the flute, but actually thinking, actually, my body is part of the flute <laughs> and I'm bringing it to me. Yeah, mm. so let's put it with your instrument. So sometimes when you get the instrument, everything does change. <laughs> So I'm going to invite you to put your flute head joint right on the top of the arm here. Mm -hmm. So rest it. So you can have one hand free. So whichever hand you're comfortable letting go of the flute, so you're going to hold it with one, <laughs> um, bring that hand and point to that middle place at the top. I want to go back again. And there you go. All right. So you're looking out at your adoring audience. You're feeling that finger on your head and you're going to do your rotation left and right nice and easy. And on your next one, just pause to the left where you would be. You can bring your hand down to the flute. And now let's deliver the real flute. Let's press it in. Mm, very nice. Go ahead. Play for me. <laughs> you can hear there's so much resonance in the sound. Beautiful. Yeah. So we can add one more layer onto it, finding different ways to deliver the flute because we are so habitual. You know, the music starts, we go up. So another like a variation on this, is again to find that middle, mm -hmm. rotate that head to the left, just like 30, 40 degrees, whatever's comfortable for your body. And now with the hands on the flute, bring it above you. Mm -hmm. So you're feeling that connection of arms into your back, into your pelvis, and float that flute down to you, all the way to the lips. You're not as wanting to bring that head to it. So yeah. And let's play again. Let's just play something new. <laughs> So to my ear, there was mm. even more resonance, yeah. and you notice how comfortable she looks. Mm. So you're communicating to your audience that I'm comfortable, so then going to be comfortable. That's wonderful, and that's such a like, nice way for you all to experience this in the comfort of your own home. Yeah. So give it a try. Do it right now. It's amazing. Absolutely. Okay, guys. So basically, body mapping is a really wonderful way for us to learn how to use our bodies in, well, number one, an anatomically correct way. Um, but also to really experience this and to feel what this feels like and through really great exercises Vanessa you are going to be filming and putting up on YouTube hopefully soon yeah. some really awesome exercises like these ones where you can really experience and find this balance for yourself this is the tip of the iceberg literally yes, it is. <laughs> our head. Yep. this is a journey it's a process um, and I encourage you to start I'm going to put a whole bunch of nice websites a link to Vanessa's website a link to bodymap.org and your Facebook page and I encourage you guys, ask questions, put comments. Yeah. Uh, let's start exploring this really exciting new area of music making. Excellent. I'll send you my videos and you guys won't believe what you get out of that instrument. I call it unleashing your expression. Yes. Until then, happy practicing and see you next time. Bye.